Alright, what's going on everybody? Super Saiyan Paul here back again with another Dragon Ball Super video. As you guys have expected, we got Mastered Ultra Instinct, which is going to be showing up in Manga Chapter 64, predictively, at the time of this recording. So make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, hit that bell icon to see him facing off against Moro and some more What If Battles coming along the lines. So, today, we're going to be putting them to fight. So, who do you guys think would win? Do you guys think that it's going to end up the way you guys would expect it to be? I can fight at the Krusty Krab. You know what? Let's fight. Let's see what else we got here. We got Disney Castle. You know what? I'm going to go to Disney Castle just for the hell of it. But yeah, like I said, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. How do you guys think this fight's going to go? Do you think it's just going to be Goku mopping the floor with Moro? And wow, this looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. Let's see this. Wow. It looks nice, but let's see how it plays out. So, like I said, people are speculating that maybe. There may even be a draw between the fighters when they fight, and then maybe even Vegeta may get the final blow because they gave Vegeta the shaft during the entirety of this chapter or arc. Um, at first, it seemed like they were hyping him up, but every single time they hyped him up just for him to get defeated. And remember, Maris did say that this is the end all be all. So look how strong this is. Godly display. And uh, so far, I'm tearing apart 7 3 more. Wow. Wow. Do you guys think that this is how the fight's gonna go, where it's just completely one-sided, Goku mops the floor with him, no challenge or anything needed, and this may be the end for Dragon Ball Super, because I mentioned this even before when Master Ultra Instinct first came out. How are they gonna top this? There's gonna be a power gap, you're gonna have to retcon something. That was the same thing with Vegito, and they even had to retcon that, so... They had to cut down the time limit, because so many things that they introduced are overpowered, and do you want to make the series longer? Wow. That was practically perfect. Can we switch this around? Let me see if I play as Moro. Can I defeat Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku? By the way, guys, like I said, make sure you guys comment below with, with whatever fights you guys want to see um, happen. Because, like, we have a bunch of fighters here that nobody's really ever seen. And it's going to be really interesting. So I'm going to go with Moro. And I think Goku is Ultra Instinct over here. Yep, he is. So we got a bunch of versions of Goku. Okay, this time, let's go and fight... That was a Dragon Ball Z Broly movie map. We got a, wow, we got some really, really cool maps in this. So I'm going to go here because this is one of my favorite locales from the Broly movie. Probably one of the greatest movies of all time with how good it was. You, can, you can't even like capture every bit of animation watch that movie one time through. You got to watch it like a bunch of times just to see every bit of detail and how much love went into that movie. One of the greatest movies of all time. I remember walking out of theories just, I mean, out of theaters just like starstruck. So... All right, Moro, let's see what you got. With all the gems on him smashed, I feel like it's still anticlimactic for him to die this fast because if they animate it correctly, they got to add something to fill up the fighting. Otherwise, it felt like it was a rushed kind of Goku Black Art from what I was saying. I'm like, yo, Maris died within a small um, time span within these battles. I mean, it's been a while since the manga chapters have been coming out, but if you really think about when they animate this, this is only going to be like a few episodes if you really think about how fast they blow through some of these chapters so full power death beam but this is the fight that everyone's looking forward to and like i said do you guys think a stalemate's gonna happen it's gonna be a complete wash do you see goku still needing help is this the climax for this battle and maybe even dragon ball super or do you guys see this being like the three fourths part where they're gonna have to do one more retreat have everybody heal up and go together for one more battle i'm honestly hoping for that last one because i want it to be stretched out and i honestly want to see Moro find maybe another form that looks even cooler. Like I said, I haven't been the biggest fan of this form because especially with him just looking like a fusion of all type of things. And yes, he has a lot of recycled abilities. I think in the very beginning, that aesthetic that he had, that look, and plus the uh, moves that he had, like such as the magic, was one of the coolest things that they had for him. But then they kind of abandoned it and made it a little bit more gener generic. And now they're kind of borrowing from the Goku Black Arc in terms of the rush riding. And damn, I'm absolutely mopping him. Damn. Ultra Instant Goku. Imagine if he's able to match that. Like, I highly kind of doubt it though. Here's why. Because if you guys really think about it, he was trying to fight Maris. He could barely really even touch him. And MUI is supposed to be up there. So it's technically like um, like a basic, I would say, angel form. With the hype that's behind it from an angel, right? So if Maris was able to beat Moro this easily, let's go to the Krusty Krab. I'm thinking that MUI shouldn't really be much of a problem. There may be a few things that Goku still hasn't mastered, such as the time limit. But in terms of power, being stronger than the tournament power, he has probably, probably got the favor here in this fight. So I would say minimum stalemate, honestly. So let's see what we can do here. 
because you don't put this much hype into the form, this much training into the form, and even say it's stronger than before, and then hype up the enemy, weaken the enemy at its highest state, and then damn, he's coming at me. And then have this do nothing, you know what I'm saying? Full power, BB Cannon. They had one of the most brutal scenes in this as well. I'm hoping for more blood and type of gore stuff, so, oh, moments, but let's grab him. Damn, we are doing this for the Krusty Krab. Full power, that beam. Let me get my blast out. And like I said before, guys, do you guys think that this is the best form for Moro, or do you guys see them pulling something out and giving him another transformation? I, and who else liked the magic aspect? It was something new. It kind of pulled from Bobbity and, um, well, Majin Buu in a way, not Bobbity, but in a sense, it was just something that really brought upon parts of the Dragon Ball uh, Lord that was kind of forgotten, you know what I'm saying? And it was cool to see that coming back. And now they brought everything in one character. I just don't like the design of this one. The original design, they were onto something. I'm just hoping they're not rushing the ending just to rush it. Because I feel like right now, if MUI just jumps in and defeats him, that would be anticlimactic. I would actually... There's a part of me that wants to see Moro win. There's a part of me that wants to see him get away. Get a bit stronger. And have Vegeta get something, man. Give Vegeta... Can we make Vegeta great again? Like, damn. All right, so let me go with one more swap. Let's see what we can do on another area. What else we got? Let's see. I could go to the hyperbolic time chamber. And I would also like to see, like, the scenery change. You know what I'm saying? What is this? That's a uh, random? Because, wow, we got a football stadium. We got Princess Peach's Castle. What the? Wasteland at night. Um, let's go here. This actually is one of my more iconic areas from Dragon Ball Super, that being of when Frieza was resurrected. So, oh, this isn't where Frieza was resurrected. This is Majin Buu's spaceship. Bobbity spaceship. Yo, those Dragon Ball Z um, Buu's Fury fans, remember that? That was a great... Damn, yo! I'm absolutely slaughtering him. That was such a great game, and exploring this was absolutely amazing. So let me just... I'm gonna grab him. This is actually as accurate as it is. Wow. This MUI mod is absolutely, absolutely insane. Is this gonna one-hit him? That was fully charged. Bro, this is overpowered. This is beyond overpowered. Look at this. And that is the hype that Maris has left us with. Let's do for one more. This is this is absolutely fun to play as him, but I would hate to be playing against him because of how broken it is. So let's try one more map. But like I said, guys, let me know. I really am looking forward to your comments and seeing what you guys have to say about what's going to be happening. I love seeing the fan theories, and this has been the biggest part about Dragon Ball since we were kids. Just trying to fantasize about what's going to be happening. And a lot of the times, predictions can be right. Some can be wrong, some can be right. I predicted Broly being canon, as well as the God Summit, which was the tournament of power and the exhibition matches way before they happened. Go check it on the channel. So it was good to see some of these fan theories come to life. And... It's one of the great parts of the culture. So, like I said, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that bell icon for the destruction of Moro like this. Let's see if I can hit him. Oh, man. Yo, but that yell, though. Damn, Moro's a beast. He really had so much hype on him. I feel like he could do so much more with this absolutely amazing form. But him just ripping into Goku, I felt like there was still more. He, he absolutely slaughtered everybody, and now they flipped the table on him so fast. That's where it feels like it's anticlimactic. It's almost as if you're giving me the red button Xeno push again, right? You just showed how epically awesome he is, and now you're doing this again. Hold him. Stand still. Stand still. Oh, damn, he's running away. Damn, he's, he does that pretty well. But once Goku has this outfit coming out, you, you know MUI. The end all be all perfect combination. Oh. He's fighting back. He's fighting back. But I think this should be the end of this battle. So let's go with this. They got the display. Look at his HP. Look at that HP war. And then look at the planet Earth. My god. This is absolutely, absolutely amazing. So let me just slap him. Whoa. All right, let's go for a Kamea. Kamea. Charge. And that looks like it's about to be it. Oh, wow. I did not dodge that. That's not how it's supposed to go. I hope he doesn't end up dodging everything, but look at this. I just got an invisible buff. Are you kidding me? 
And damn, we just knocked him right out. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Like I said, leave your comments down below and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys then. All right, take care. Peace. Thank you.